How's it going, Phoenix Athletes? So I hope you guys all had um, a good workout today and that you are ready for tomorrow's workout. So we're gonna jump right into this. Tomorrow, you guys are gonna um, focus on a lot of pushing and pulling for the strength. First, you guys are gonna foam roll for a little while, really focusing on the upper back and the chest. Uh, use a ball and lay on the floor and really move those arms around while that ball's on the floor and your chest is laying on that ball. Um, really loosen up those shoulders. Then you guys have that T-spine rotation. So the T-spine, just remember, you're crouching on the floor, you're leaning over, and then reaching up towards the ceiling. Um, then you guys have those wrist stretches, like the traditional ones, what we have been doing in classes. So you're gonna do 10 of those, and then you guys have the pass-throughs, the Spider-Man crawls, and the alternating side lunges. Those are gonna all be great stretches for you guys for this workout. Um, then you guys are gonna be doing uh, a Tabata. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. You guys are gonna start with handstand shoulder taps or pike shoulder taps. So all you're gonna do is either kick up to the wall and do a handstand hold, and you're gonna just tap, same hand, same shoulder, or go into a plank, same hand, same shoulder, or go into that pike position, like we've practiced many times in class, and you're gonna do the same hand, to same shoulder. And then you guys are gonna be alternating that with jump squats or air squats. Once you're done there, you guys are gonna roll right into your strength portion. So the first movement, you have max effort pull-ups right into max effort handstand push-ups. You guys are gonna rest two minutes in between each set. So um, you're gonna see a lot of personalized options on there, but if you don't have a pull-up bar, you guys are gonna do those, those row options with the video that's attached to this. Uh, you guys can also, for the handstand push-ups, you guys can go into that pike handstand push-up, watch that video attached in this email. Um, you guys can do dumbbell strict presses or kettlebell strict press or med ball presses and all you're doing is holding the med ball here and going up and down. Um, all those are going to be great options for this. Um, or you will even do um, a, a, a regular push-up. That'll be a great option too, especially if you did um, today's workout or yesterday's workout, which was um, strict presses. Uh, push-up would be a much better option. So think of that while you guys are doing those. And then uh, the workout is a seven round for time. Um, you guys are going to be doing, sorry, it's a seven rounder. You guys are doing a 200 meter run or 15 burpees, it's one or the other, right into max effort, reps till failure on the decline push-ups. Watch the video below for the decline push-ups. Modify those decline push-ups to a regular push-up is just fine. You can go to your knees or elevate the surface with your, on your arms. Um, so you're, you're gonna rest one minute in between each round and make sure you guys keep track of those decline push-ups reps, and that's gonna be your total score of all seven rounds. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. You guys are doing a fantastic job, and I will see you tomorrow.